Juicy people, here is the pear and mint magic. It will come as no surprise. There are pears and mint in this recipe, but also we have some lime. I peeled this. To be honest, if you can't be bothered to peel the lime, sometimes you're in a hurry, you can leave the skin on, but beware. It will taste different and it'll be far too zesty in my humble, juicy opinion, but you may think otherwise. Yes, I have three pears on my chopping board here. I have three of them, but you require two large pears or three kind of small to medium, and that's what I have. Simple to make, you're only gonna need your juicer here. Well, I say that, depends on the juicer that you have. If you have a really bad fast juicer, there's some really good fast juicer, if you have a really bad fast juicer, the chances are you're gonna put in the mint, it's gonna go into your fast juicer, and it's just gonna fly out the other side, and you would have extracted no juice from it at all, and you would have said, hang on, this pear and mint magic was the magic that you made the mint to disappear. So what I would do is use your blender, if that's the case, and get some mint leaves in the blender, pour in the juice, and then whiz that up. Even when I use a fast juicer on this, I've got a good fast juicer, so I would sandwich the mint in between like this. You wanna pack it in tight, and then you do get the juice, even from a fast juicer. I'm gonna uh, start juicing the pears, and now I'm gonna feed the mint in there. You can have a larger handful of mint if you required. I used to suffer with asthma an enormous amount, and Things like mint, things like ginger, apple juice in particular, pear juice really help me along. Now this is really rich in soluble fiber pectin, even more so than an apple. You can go apple bobbing, but you can't go pear bobbing. Uh, not without getting very wet because pears will sink and apples float. And that's all to do with the amount of oxygen that the fruits contain. Uh, it keeps you going, is what I'm saying. So if you're having difficulty um, going, there's no nice way to say it, is there? Do you know what I mean? Anyway, you know what I'm saying. Um, then pears are good. People think it's always about the prune. Oh, no, 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 no. Pears should get a look in as well. Beautiful, freshly extracted pear juice. Added zestiness comes from the lime. We've got that beautiful, help you to breathe, natural decongestion of the mint. I've, I've put it in one of these, because this is the thing to do now. So I've just put, instead of putting it in a glass, I, I've, I've put it in one of these kind of jugs, these little, there you go. It's quite nice, isn't it? Oh, it's ridiculous. It's just, refreshing is the first word that springs to mind. It will be for you too. It's not heavy. Some juices can be heavy. This is very, very light. There it is. It's from the funky, not funky in the way the Americans say. I just thought I'd tell you that because um, that means smelly. <laughs> so, uh, but over here, funky is good thing. It's funky, jazzy. Um, anyway, uh, funky fresh juice book or app. There it is. It's the pear and mint magic. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, more of the same over here. Latest video over here. Don't forget to subscribe and to like, and please share what you see.